Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters on the Elmer team, and today we're here to talk about purchasing a home with a reverse mortgage. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today I'm here with Andrew Scammon. He came back again from Alpine Mortgage Planning, and we're here to talk about how you can actually purchase a property utilizing a reverse mortgage. Now, I guess a lot of people didn't know that this was even possible, but why would someone want to use a reverse mortgage to purchase a property? The key indicators are someone who wants to move, uh, but does not want to have a mortgage payment. And they may not have the cash that they would expect to need in order to buy a property for cash. A reverse mortgage, generally speaking, allows someone to double their purchasing power. So what we find is somebody who has, say, $200,000 in equity in their house, um, at a net of a sale, and they feel like they can't buy the property that they want for $200,000. So by the use of a reverse mortgage, now they're suddenly in the market for a $400,000 house. It allows them to complete both transactions, the one to sell the property that they want to move out of, as well as to qualify for the reverse mortgage that allows them to purchase a property that they're looking forward to staying in for the rest of their life. So essentially, someone who has a larger home, um, maybe they want to downsize, they have about $200,000 of equity, they can move into another home that, say, um, uh, let's say sell this house for six hundred thousand. Now they're going to buy something for four hundred. Correct. They can essentially eliminate the mortgage altogether. Uh, well, in a sense, because they're not going to have that the mortgage payment. payment. They can, mortgage they payment. can el eliminate the mortgage payment. That's and right. then they still have some equity left in the house to live off with the reverse mortgage, basically. Exactly. What happens typically in these cases is we have somebody who. Uh, completes the sale of their house and then comes to us to make the arrangements for the purchase of their new property. The key there is that again it has to be an FHA approvable or, or an FHA approved property. So sometimes people need to be cautious if they're looking at a move down into a condominium that they're only shopping for condominiums that are already FHA approved. If they're just looking to move into a, a smaller cottage out of the house where they may have raised a family or uh, lived throughout their adult life, then those issues don't come into play as single family homes qualify automatically, if you will. But the, the borrower really needs to get a sense that this is a comparison to a cash product uh, rather than a comparison to a traditional mortgage. It's not really meant to replace a traditional mortgage as much as it is to take a cash buyer and double their buying ability. Okay, great. So um, how long does that process normally take for a reverse mortgage? It, it usually takes about six weeks. And... Before we even start that process, I always make sure that the, the buyer knows what to expect, not only at closing, but for years into the future. So we lay out an amortization table that goes all the way up to age 100. One of the things that I like to share with people is that there are, there are no bad sides to a reverse mortgage unless they're a surprise. And that's really what we strive to do in the industry, there is a, a core group in the reverse mortgage industry that recognizes that all of the ills that we hear about in reverse mortgages are because people are surprised by what happens later on. So we strive to make certain that people know exactly what to expect and uh, what is going to happen to their mortgage or mortgage balance, their property, if they can keep it in a trust or not, which they can, um, how it's going to go to their heirs, how it's going to affect their estate, I meet with their CPAs if they like, their attorney, their financial planner, so that we can see how this is going to work into their entire retirement plan for the rest of their lives. That's great. So that sounds like a really thorough plan that you do too. We try to be very thorough indeed. <laughs> Again, the key is no surprises. Mm -hmm. If somebody knows that their balance is going to go up, it's not a problem when their balance goes up. It's when they're surprised by their balance going up. They say, hey, I'd like to sell my house. What do you mean there's no equity left? Um, that could possibly happen depending on what happens with the value of real estate. But if they are aware of what that taking place, then they can make a, a, a suitable plan to 
prevent the type of nasty surprises that we've heard so much about in reverse mortgages in the past. Absolutely. And if you would like more information and to be really informed about it, you can always reach Andrew at 562-743-0111 or SoCalReverse at gmail.com. Of course, you can also reach me at Melinda at the Elmer team .com or at 562-316-2915. Thanks so much for watching my video blog and feel free to forward and share this information with, any, with anybody that you might know. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.